everyone, here we are at the Four Point Sh Sheraton Hotel at the Latino Business Expo. We are gonna have so much fun tonight. Come and visit us. My name is Adam Casillas. I'm one of the owners and uh, promoters of the Latino Business Expo. Adam, how long have you been doing this? I'm going on seven years. This is our 14th expo. Um, our next expo, we're going to be moving it because we've outgrown this venue. With over 80 vendors in attendance and 1,600 people, we need to find a larger venue. So I've booked uh, the Frontier County Fairgrounds for October 29, 2015. We'll, be, uh, we'll have enough space for 100 vendors and two to 3,000 people at that event. What prompted you to start this? One of the reasons I started the Latino Business Expo was to help bridge that gap between businesses uh, that didn't know how to do, uh, didn't know how to market towards the Latino community. Because as of you know, 2015, if you're not doing business with the Latinos or figuring out a way to market them, you're going to be losing money. There, the buying power is at almost two billion dollars. By the end of 2016, will be at two billion dollars of buying power in the United States. If you're not finding a way to tap into that and to improve your business or market to that market, you might as well. Get, be prepared to close your doors at some time. Very interesting. Adam, you're an icon. Well, I just try to, uh, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in the pay it forward model, help people, help small businesses, keep it local. I do everything I can to try to keep my business vendors uh, local and uh, try to coach them and teach them how to do business with one another instead of uh, searching other avenues out of the area like uh, Los Angeles, San Diego, uh, from the East Coast, 
you know, the, everything that they're looking for is here local if they just look for it. That's beautiful, Adam. I really like that. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Bye.
So we're here at the Latino Business Expo tonight. Oxnard College always participates in this event because we want to make sure that we're connected with the community and because Adam Casillas is one of the greatest supporters of the college. So it's our pleasure to always be involved. It was so much fun at the Latino Business Expo. Who do we have right here? Graciela Casillas from CMA Martial Arts Academy. Graciela, tell us all about the event. Well, this was a fantastic event. We had uh, businesses from throughout the, the county that came to, to present, to network, uh, to exchange um, information. So we had companies from insurance companies all the way to car dealerships here. So many venues, so much information. A beautiful, beautiful setting right here. <laughs>